Hi, my name is Kansei from Kansei Caucus. Keep watching GH Dog TV. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. Okay, listen to me. It's very important when I'm coming to the show, I'm wearing something easy. Okay, I'm not wearing a tight trousers, a, a very baggy t-shirt, and a shoes that is slippery, or a slipper, or a sandal. Sometimes, it's like, uh, the judge is finding difficult to choose between this dog and this dog. And he's asking you to do more rounds. If you are not able to do it, you lose. Your dog is very good, but you are not fit. You will lose, okay? Now, again, you, come. Uh -huh. You are what? You are not done? I will let you do it, don't worry, take it. Come, give me that. Don't worry, it's very cool. Please give me the pack, please give me that. You have nice shoes, though. Will you give it to me after the show? Huh? You give me the shoes after we finish? <laughs> yeah, come. Okay, now, I want you to be walking in front of her for, and, and turn the dog to follow you. Come to the left of the dog. Don't worry, the dog is very friendly. He is very friendly. Make the dog the lead. Short as he says. No, on the right hand. Keep it in the right hand. You touch it like this. That's why you touch it. Both. And this one is the side. And now the left hand here. Left hand. Make it here. Bring it here. Okay. And now your dog is on your left. Let's say I'm the judge and I'm telling you to go. Good guy. Okay. You are bringing the. You are like sparking the dog to start. Okay. Talk. I want to hear. Good boy. Good guy. Talk. Raise your voice. I can't hear. You. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Raise your voice, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, catch the leash again from here. Okay, and now you can move, move in front, call your dog. Go small from. Yeah, call your dog. Yeah, go, 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 go. Move, let him move, move, move. Go, go, go. Yeah, go. Well, but you you were you were fast. Okay, don't be that fast. Okay. Again, let's do it. Motivate your dog again. Uh -huh. Catch your leash again. Catch your leash again. Okay, you are ready? Yalla, Lika. Call your dog and move. Okay, click him again. You want to, I want you to help me. Talk to your dog. Talk. Motivate him. Good girl. No. Listen, guys, guys, guys. There is a big difference between good boy and good boy. Big difference. 
If I'm telling you, you have done a good job. If I tell you, wow, you have done a very good job. Which one you like more? The second one. The second one? The same for the dog. I can tell him good boy. And I can tell him good boy. It makes a lot of difference. Okay? The motivation, the donation when you are motivating the dog should be very good. So the dog knows that you really appreciate what he's doing. Okay, let, the, let your sister do it. You do it after this one. Okay. Okay, and now touch it here. Okay, now. We can go in front. Okay, don't go fast, okay? Now, when you are moving with the dog, talk to your dog, motivate the dog. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Not necessarily continuously, but it's a girl. So, when you start, you say good girl. When you reach the corner, girl, there. You will say good girl. When you reach the other corner, you say good girl. And always, don't allow the dog to take you right and left. Use a bit of your power, straight your back. Use some of your power, as much as you can. I know the dog is strong, but also you, you have to be strong, okay? That, that, when you train with the dog, you, you should know how to, to absorb the power and direct his power in the correct way, okay? So, it's slowly and gradually. You cannot be a perfect hunter in one day. The dog cannot be a best dog in one day. So you train with the dog on daily basis in, in turn to achieve that thing called perfection in showing, okay? So it's gradual. So now, I don't want to be scared of the dog, talk to the dog. If you see the dog going right, you push him left. If you see him going left, you push him right. It's like you are riding a horse. Okay? You are ready? Okay, we start by motivating our dog. Talk to your dog. Good girl! Raise your voice. Good girl! Good girl! Aha, good girl! Yala, you are ready? Okay, we start. Go, Yalika. Aliyah. Yeah. Aliyah, let's go. Don't go fast. Straight your back, straight your back, straight your back, straight your back. Aha, good girl. Good girl. Straight your back. Start getting that harmony, you lost it again. So that one, maintaining the harmony is by train, okay? So now. You start, when you hear that I'm saying that you are doing well, try and maintain that speed and that body balance, okay? Yeah, shorten the leash a bit. And look, I want you to go a bit, for, you are too close to her. Yeah, don't go fast, okay. showed you perfect and now leave this one now you have to carry this fish with the left hand keep maintain that angle the dog is here and now we are going okay okay we are going faster we are going faster aha we are going faster we are going faster wait we are going faster than the dog.
Okay, so we are the final day of the KUG Junior Handling Session and I found this boss man right here. He's popularly known on Twitter as Dr. Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Thank you very much, sir. Nice, but why do I name Dr. Kramer? Well, you know, it's just an inspiration that somebody gave to me and I just run with it because it's all about the dogs. And if it concerns the dogs, it concerns me. So that's the inspiration. The doctor of dogs. Yeah. MSC doctor. Kramer Winsem. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love the content and the tweets you put out on Twitter at all. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much. Just keep following and it's all by the grace of God. Thank you. Now, so I'd like you to officially introduce yourself to my dog lovers watching us. My name is Selassie uh, Gerald Kwaku and I'm the handler for Bear Von Grassen for Paul's Palace Kennel. We are located in Weja Broadcasting and we, be, we breed pedigree German Shepherds, Caucasians and Poodles. Yes, sir. That's beautiful, and you have this beauty right here. Very beautiful dog. Yes, he's actually Bear from Grassum. He's the one we are bringing to contend with the other top dogs to see how we are actually doing in the business. Because we learn from Lion King and other you know top competitors that uh, you have to show your dogs to see how you are doing, whether you are conforming to the standard. You don't just import any dog and just start breeding. You have to make sure he meets the standards and the dogs not have any disqualif disqualifying faults. Because we, we in Ghana and the KUG are trying to promote you know good ethical breeding in the country. So that's why we are here and also to make our mistakes and do that we show professionally yes nice nice nice. i know it's a junior handling session but you were also here with your dog and all of that yes because i'm actually here to learn and i've actually never showed a dog before and the first time we showed we actually got um disqualified but you know thanks to mazin and every other person that has encouraged us to actually show our dogs more we know that we're actually doing better you get it uh, you have to, you solve a problem by accepting there is one that's why we are here. So even though they are children, I still believe I'm a child, a child of God. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice one, worst one. Now, Salasi, I'd like you to look into our cameras and say a final message to our dog lovers watching us and then you drop out your social media handles and all. Okay, so um, I want you to keep watching GH Dog TV, the home of interactive dog news and up-to-date uh, info and everything related to dogs. So um, this is Paul's Palace Kennels. You can follow us on Instagram at Paul's underscore palace underscore kennels and uh, you can also follow me on twitter at dr caramel or pauls and pups on twitter just follow us for more information on german shepherds and everything regarding dogs if it's about a dog just talk to us nice one dog lovers that's the boss man right here selassie aka dr caramel boss man thank you once again for letting us have you thank you very much for having me bro Everyone relax. Don't talk. Take five minutes of break. Full, full break. After this five minutes, we are going to do two full rounds with all the dogs in the ring. And I'll be correcting everyone by one. Okay, so dog lovers, I'm right here with the current best young handler. Welcome to the show once again. Thank you. I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers. My actual name is Kama El Ketiji. Mm -hmm. 
and I have I have two siblings, mm -hmm. and then I have a dog right here called Bear. Okay, so let me ask you. I know we we've had the handling session for four weeks now. How has the experience been for you? It's Siki? been excellent, mm -hmm. and I advise more people to bring the the companions and the kids or themselves to to this area because because there there's you can you can get your dog to socialize more and you can most you mostly um, have fun the first week we spend most of the time talking and learning and then we met a lot of dogs and I socialized my dog a lot so you meet a lot of new people okay nice one dog lovers that's the current best young handler so siki the december show is approaching and i know you're going to be in the ring once again what are we to expect from you in the ring um, i get second or first mm -hmm. with most dogs people train their dogs but i'm one of a kind <laughs> you're a special one yes <laughs> So, so I'd like you to look into our comments and say your final message to my dog lovers who are watching us. Just give them a message, Ziki. I advise you really socialize your dog and, and take your dogs to more dog shows and, and be welcome. This is the last round and the last session of this year Junior Handy. Please, I beg, try and impress me small, okay? I want to see that we've worked for four weeks, we have seen some good results, okay? Everyone is ready? Anyone need time? Everyone is fine? No, Okay. No problem. So we have seven dogs in total. Fighting for the best dog with the best handy. Yala Jerry, go. Go, 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 don't stop. Don't go fast. Jero, control your dog, Jero. Sticky, you're doing well. Thank you for coming. Who is also the youngest? Come. Okay, bro. Thank you. Bye bye. My champion. Ah. <laughs>
Oh, my champion, me. Give me five. High five, high five, high five, high five. Good job, boys. Good job. 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 Okay, so dog lovers, we've come to the end of the final day for the KUG Junior Handling Session. I'm right here with the boss man, the facilitator who took the kids and everyone through the dog handling and all. Mr. Mazin Okateji, welcome to the show once again. Welcome, welcome, bro. I know it hasn't been easy. Four weeks. Four weekends. Uh, oh, it's exhausting, yes, but uh, if you see the educational part of it and the fun we had, it, it's much more than the, 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 the tired we get. We didn't get tired as much as we get fun and we enjoyed that sessions with the lovely kids that came from all over Ghana. Okay, nice one. So can you, can you take us through some of the lessons you took them through throughout the weekends and all? Uh, in general, we, you know, it's just four weeks. So you, we did intensive as much as we can to give them the initial uh, education needed about handling uh, and controlling their dogs during the events for example how the process during the show what they will pass through what is the best way to get the best out of your dog how to be how to re uh, have confidence how to release your dog stress how to perform in front of a judge the correct way in turn uh, to impress that judge and in turn to score more we also show them that it's a, a game, you win, you lose. The most important part of it is to enjoy that day, is uh, to learn something out of that day. Winning is uh, something nice, but losing is, we should make losing also a nice thing that we, we didn't leave the show ground, the show day, without learning something new. So uh, the kids has show, showed me a lot of improvement, honestly. I've, I've been impressed with majority of them some of them they didn't attend all the yeah, all the sessions so uh, i understand that their progress was a bit slower than the rest but those who attended three to four sessions honestly honestly i was extremely uh, surprised i was shocked i've seen even if i think you have taken the video at the end i've seen performance that can impress an international judge easily by kids that they haven't in, uh, handled before with dogs that haven't been handled or trained to be handled before so i was extremely impressed uh, hopefully hopefully uh, we are going to impress our judge in the upcoming show and most important we are going to impress the crowd coming to watch and enjoy enjoy that show and the beautiful thing i love about it is how you are motivating the kids because you do i saw you sharing some gifts and all yes you know the the game 90% of the game is motivation. Uh, you have to motivate the handler and the handler has to motivate the dog. Uh, a confident dog, motivated dog, perform better than a shy dog or a stressed dog. So is is part of the education, showing the kids that if I'm motivating you, you are feeling happy, you are sh giving me more. The same way, if you, if you motivate your dog, you tap on your dog, you reward your dog by uh, uh, with your voice, with tapping on your dog, by showing him that you are, you are happy from his performance, you are motivating your dog and it's going to give you better performance. Uh, the gifts are uh, shared, uh, they are from the Kenyan Union of Ghana. You know, we have to, we believe that uh, building that dog love uh, and education in the youngest are, is very important for our future so uh, we appreciate a lot their presence we we want to congratulate them and we we want to thank their parents who allowed them to come and share those sessions with us honestly i'm proud of every single kid and junior i some of them they were 18 and 20 years old mm, a lot of them they were seven eight i have even five years old kids today uh, i'm very proud of them i'm i want to thank their parents for allowing their kids to to have that opportunity because if you start that early is when by early age you th you see that you are above of the rest we need that uh, that quality of handlers and people who understand the dog language at young age in terms of having a better future as a, a union so 
We thanks God. I I can say that we have been, those sessions have been very successful. I'm very happy that the Kenyan Union of Ghana have uh, give us this opportunity to gather with these kids, to share our knowledge with them, to give them something from our experience, and to see also the parent that they have allowed their kids to come and learn something. Hopefully, we'll have more sessions soon, and hopefully more parents, uh, they will allow their kids to come. I had a lot of registry that parents, maybe, you know, people sometimes, they they face challenges. I have, we had better entry, better uh, registration uh, number. Some of them, they couldn't attend. Uh, we understand this. Hopefully, next time, they can register and come. Uh, I think if, if they will see the outcome after this December show that is going to come from those particular handlers that they, they trained with us for this for week, the parents themselves, they will be motivated to allow their kids to come for the next one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Big ups to all the kids who participated and all the parents who allowed their kids to join. Now, Mr. Mazin, before I let you go, let's talk about the upcoming dog show that's coming up. Uh, uh, we are looking to have the one of the best shows, if not the best. Uh, even with this uh, economical situation in the in town, still uh, we have to continue. Yeah? We can't stop where we, we have... We have moved a lot. We cannot uh, just back up at this time after we achieved. We have a very, very, very large and good quality livestock now. Uh, we want to show uh, first our local uh, uh, spectator and then we want to show the world through our social media and through our judges uh, that uh, Ghana is no more just Oh, country that love dog. No, we love dogs, and we have top quality. When I say top, we have dogs that can that can easily compete on on international levels. So it's not fair to have these dogs and keep them at home. Please register your dogs, bring them. Let's enjoy the day. Let's get some education. Let's know exactly the value of our dogs because I have this dog. Even if I know my breed standard. But I need to have an expertise and uh, uh, someone who has been judging dog for 20, 30 years, who have seen German Shepherd like a million times more than me. He has he have judged all over the world, international shows with very high level dogs. I want to know his opinion. If, if he will tell me that my dog is excellent, imagine a judge that have met before 10,000 German Shepherd and he's coming to rate your dog excellent. Nothing can can be better for a breeder than this moment. So better to, I I I want everyone to to take that opportunity to show their dogs. Let's come. Let's compete. Let's uh, enjoy. Let's learn on the third of December. Let's uh, know how to uh, to get better in our breeding programs. Let's. Uh, share our knowledge all together let's motivate each other let's have our uh, let's share contact let's share I, I know a lot of breeders through through phone i haven't met them before i've been into this breeding for more than five years now i know a lot of people if i meet them physically i don't know them let's meet all together even if you are not showing dog let's still you you should come let's meet let's uh, chat let's uh, share knowledge let's share contact let's get to know each other more uh, uh, breeding is moving fast is uh, I can say that we are leading West Africa. We we I don't want to take any uh, anything from other countries. I know Nigeria they are doing well. I know other countries are doing well, but from my point of view, uh, Ghana is one of, if not the best when it comes to breeding now. In, when it comes to our livestock and our production, uh, so. Everyone, every dog lover, every dog owner, every breeder should come and enjoy that day. It's not uh, something that uh, someone will feel like, oh, I will do it later on. It's not something you see it every day. We, we put a lot of effort to, to make a perfect day with perfect presentation for everyone to enjoy. We have uh, a lot of activities a part of showing dogs. We have a lot of winners. We will have uh, junior uh, handlers winners. We have even spectators who come. They will be sharing uh, a lot, a lot, not one or two. We have a lot of um, uh, gift to be shared to our uh, visitors. Uh, we have an international judge. We have, uh, we will also come. We, we are still uh, seeing but most probably we are going to be 
coming live online uh, for the entire day. Uh, so people who are in different uh, region, maybe in Tamale, maybe in Takoradi, and they, they don't have time to come, they can still enjoy that show. Uh, Hopefully, we, it will be as usual a successful show. Uh, we are trying to continue what the old uh, PUG executive have started. Hopefully, we will make them proud. Hopefully, we will, att uh, we will attend uh, where we are supposed to, to reach uh, very soon. So, we are just praying. You, we know the situation, but also uh, nothing will stop me from enjoying a day with my dog. Nothing can stop me. Nice one, dog lovers. You heard it from the boss man, Mr. Mazin, right here. And on the 3rd of December at the Octagon in the greater Accra region of Ghana. You have to be there. You don't have to miss out. Boss man, thank you so much for letting us have you on the show as again. Oh, welcome, bro. Welcome. Uh, you know, uh, as long as you are around, I, I always want to to thank you for, for being everywhere when it comes to dog-related uh, programs. Honestly, you are doing some great effort. Uh, uh, God bless you. God give you the strength to stay doing what you are doing. You are the best so far. Uh, and we, we appreciate a lot your effort, honestly. Thank you so much, Mr. Mazir, and you're always welcome. Now, dog lovers, if you're new on our channel, just kindly subscribe to our channel for more exclusive and amazing dog content. So this is where we'll be bringing today's episode to an end. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Catch you another time. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.